Word up, Georgia Japan here with more obscure knowledge from Japanese TV. Um, so yeah, this topic is something I've kind of been wondering about ever since I did my history of video. I just kind of assumed Becky could speak English for a few reasons. But yeah, you know, I, actually I have two daughters and yeah, we're living in Japan. So I, I kind of wonder what it's like growing up bilingual. So I was kind of curious to see if Becky could actually speak English. And it was really hard to find clips of her speaking in English. I, I don't know, I, I just, I, I was having a lot of trouble finding it, but I did. I did find it and I will be playing that uh, later on in the video so you can kind of be the judge if that's native level for you or not. But before I show that, I would like to go over my speculation because I think it brings some interesting context and the video would just be too short if I showed you a few sound clips. That's too honest. So yeah, um, I'd like to introduce these three talents. All three of them are biracial talents. Their fathers are American and they all have varying levels of English. First, I'd like to introduce Shelly. Shelly has a native level of English. She's done like English educational programs with NHK. So yeah, no question about her English ability. It's really good. And yeah, I think her father had a very active role in her childhood. She didn't get into showbiz until I think it was 14 years old, where she was scouted to be a model. So I think growing up, again, she had a lot of English influence from her father. Her father took her to America several times. And I think that, well, her English influence was so big that at the age of 18, again, she has dual citizenship until she reaches 18, and she picked American citizenship over Japanese. So yeah, huge English influence, and as a result, she can speak English perfectly. Next up, I'd like to talk a little bit about Wentz Eiji. Again, the father is an American, a German-American, I believe, and he got into showbiz really young. He started modeling at the age of four. And although his father was there in his life, I think he definitely had more Japanese influences growing up, especially getting into showbiz at such a young age. And it was revealed that in this movie, uh, he had like an English speaking co-star that he could not speak English very well. It was surprising for his co-star that Wentz had this very poor English ability, very basic level. But I would like to note that Wentz really wants to do musicals. So he's, I think he studied abroad in England and he's been studying English a lot because that is his dream right now to appear in musicals. So I think now his English is probably really good, but it was more from him studying himself than from learning it from his father. Finally, I'd like to introduce Anthony. Anthony is a real unique example. Uh, his father is a pro boxer, but unfortunately he died at the age of three. His mother remarried a Japanese sushi chef. So he grew up in a total Japanese environment and his only exposure to English was just what he heard until he was three years old. He can't speak any English. He doesn't understand any of it. And yeah, he's actually used it as a tool in his comedy. It's, it's pretty funny. So yeah, uh, from these three people, we can see just how important a parent's influence is in learning English. So what about Becky? Well, um, her father was really into karate, which is why he first came to Japan. And yeah, he, he was an active role in Becky's life. Becky didn't get into modeling until she was 14. And I think um, before getting into modeling, I think their family was wealthy enough to take her like to England to visit her extended family several times. So I, I guess she kind of falls into the same boat as Shelly, as she had a lot of English influences at a young age. Uh, another point that I'd like to bring up is that Becky's sister lives in Los Angeles. She's a pro dancer. So if her sister has a high enough fluency to live in America, I'm guessing she must also have some pretty good fluency. But again, just speculation. If her sister can speak English that well, I'm guessing Becky must be able to do it as well. Anyway, so that, that's, that's like all my speculation right there. Um, so yeah, this is a parody commercial sketch of an English school in Japan. Hi, Becky. Hi. Hi, how are you doing now? Yeah. No, I'm asking yeah, you. Yeah, so, I mean, oh, she sounds really how natural. Uh, the comedian yeah. here is Harada Taizo. I'm asking you, how are you? Yes, yes. yes. How do you feel now? 
How do you feel it now? How do you feel it now? Good. Yes. Okay. That's good. Hey, Becky. Yeah. Don't touch me. Okay, I have yes. one question. Yes. If yeah, no you can problem, speak right? English. Yes. And you go to New York, you can live there, right? Yes. And I heard that you want to go to New York. And if you I think, go yeah, to New York, what do you want to do? I think, yeah, definitely from this, it's safe to say Becky's English is... Oh, yeah. Um, so, awesome. Taizo, Taizo Children in Tokyo. Oh, uh, how many children? I'm, I'm not an yes. expert in like British <laughs> English or anything, but that does no, sound a bit more like British English, right? Like to the father's and the Yes, yes, yes. I I'm, a, I'm an uncultured How American. Eh? How old is he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sardin war. No. Oh, no, man. you're joking. You were joking. <laughs> yeah. I can't Maggie. understand. What? Don't touch me. Oh. Oh. I don't know what show this is from. Oh, right, yes. If you touch again, sure. I'll call my car. Okay. Um, Becky? Yeah. Fat? Yeah. No, not fat. Fat. So yeah, I, I think it's no, pretty safe to say that she was using the kind of pronunciation on purpose. Because, yeah, she, she can just... Because, yeah, she can speak English real well. No problem here. <laughs> awesome. Uh, so, yeah, in conclusion, I think it's pretty safe to say Becky can speak a pretty good level of English. Um, again, her father's influence is definitely there. Yeah, I um, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I do cover some really weird, obscure Japanese stuff like this, so please check out my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and have a glorious day.